So the things that really have stood out to me about these various living histories, the pieces that really stick with me are bits of my own trajectory or bits of things that have inspired me that I see reflected back in people that I that I admire and, and respect so much. Uh, and some of those things are are books, books that have have inspired uh, people in the in the start of their trajectory. And it's always nice to see these these commonalities. And, and, and shared interests. So for instance, Raisa D'Souza talked about uh, Roger Lewin's uh, complexity book and how that inspired her to, to seek out the Santa Fe Institute and embark on this you know, great career in com uh, complexity theory. Um, and, and Christy Montus talked about hey, her um, high school biology teacher who introduced her to Stephen Jay Gould and how this just sparked an interest in evolutionary biology that spanned then her the rest of her career to date, and and these are both you know fantastic talks that I'm I'm reducing to small moments, so so I recommend that you go and go and check them out for sure. Um, and another uh, aspect of talks that really that really kind of strike me, in addition to you know initial sparks of, of science, is is family history, and in, in particular. Uh, the history of people who come from different countries, because I also immigrated to the United States as a child, and and lots of people in this in this living history series are are immigrants, and it's it's been wonderful to hear about the the varied backgrounds that they had coming from places like Greece, like Eleni Katapori in Italy, um, Irene uh, Giardina, and in India, like Manu Prakash and and Maha, and to to see aspects of my kind of own story as an immigrant reflected back at me again uh, from from these people that I that I admire has been really, really uh, touching and, and inspiring.